Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, ito na ngayon yung part 2 ng discussion natin about order of operations. Last time, nagkaroon tayo ng discussion about the part 1 wherein kung i-review natin, ang pinafollow natin pattern is parenthesis first and brackets. Pangalawa, you need to deal with the exponents. Third, you need to deal with the multiplication or division. Pero ang pattern nun, from left to right. And lastly, you need to deal with the addition or subtraction. Same pattern, left to right. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Meron tayo itong example number one, na kung saan ang haba, di ba? We have 1 plus the quantity of 6 times 11 plus 1 minus 4 divided by 8 times 2. So, ano bang unahin natin dito? Remember, ang kailangan natin unahin is yung parenthesis and brackets. So, ako, mag-focus mo na ako dito sa 11 plus 1 minus 4, where in 11 plus 1 is 12 minus 4, that will give you 8. So, mag magkakaroon ka ngayon ng 8. So, meron ka na ngayon 8 times 6, di ba? 8 times 6. So, you have here 6. So, plus 3. Gawa natin yung plus 3 natin. And then, divided by 8 times 2. Again, okay, makonfuse, ha? Yung kaninang batch naging 8, 11 plus 1, that is 12, minus 4, that will give you 8. Tapos, since wala natin yung parenthesis, yung bracket natin magiging parenthesis na lang. So, since meron pa rin tayong parenthesis, ang gagawin natin ngayon, is simplify pa rin natin itong parenthesis natin, which is, ang mangyari dyan, is that, meron ka ngayon 6 times 8. So, that is 48. Tandaan na, kailangan natin uh, unahin yung parenthesis pa rin. 6 times 8, that is 48. So, meron ka ngayon itong baba may plus 3, then divided by 8 times 2. So, as you can see, ito yung expression natin. We have 3 plus 48, divided by 2 times 8. Ang tanong, anong unahin natin? Is it 48 divided by 8 or 8 times 2? Remember, unahin natin ay yung nasa left. Ang direction natin, left to right. Ibig sabihin, ang focus natin ngayon ay yung 48, time, 48 divided by 8. So simplifying this, 48 divided by 8, that is 6. Okay, 6. Maba natin yung 3 plus 6 times 2. And... We have now addition sa multiplication. Siyempre, ang priority natin ngayon ay yung multiplication, which will give you 12 plus 3, and this is 15. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung first example natin sa part 2 natin, na kung saan napakahaba, and at the end, that is only equal to 15. So, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have 2 cubed, or 2 raised to the third power, minus 8 divided by 4 times 2 plus 7. So, ako, applying the pattern, I will deal first with this one. Yung 2 cube. Again, 2 cube. Kasi exponent muna. Kasi wala naman tayong parenthesis. So, ang 2 cube natin is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. So, that is equivalent to 8. And then, copy natin to minus 8 divided by 4 times 2 plus 7. Okay, simplify lang natin ito ah. Tayusin ko lang ito. So ngayon lang tayong multi uh, subtraction, division, multiplication, addition. Siyempre, ang unahin natin yun ay yung division. So, ang 8 divided by 4 natin is 2. So, copy natin ibang parts. Times 2 plus 7. Again, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, ang mer meron na lang tayo dito yung multiplication, addition, saka subtraction. Siyempre, ang uunahin nyo ay multiplication. So, four, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, meron ko nga yung 8 minus 4 plus 7. So, following the pattern o yung kailangan natin order of operation, uunahin natin ngayon dito ay yung subtraction kasi from left to right. So, 8 minus 4, that is 4. And then, you have 4 plus 7 na lang. And 4 plus 7 is simply 11. So, ganun lang kadali yung mismo ano, yung mismong item number 2 natin. We're in, kung sa, sa unang tingin nahihirapan kayo, hindi nyo naman kailangang i-rush yung mismong pag-resolve nito. Ang gawin mo lang is you need to follow the pattern of, or the order of operation. So, kung hindi pa kayo sanay, syempre, it will take time para masanay din kayo. And, 
I hope na mag-practice kayo na mag-practice when it comes to mathematics kasi sabi nga, practice make, makes perfect. Pero for me, uh, yung pag-practice na yun, uh, it will give you the efficiency kung paano mag-solve ng mga problems in mathematics. So, again, kung meron kayo tanong about our solution, you can comment down below. At kung meron din kayong uh, suggested topic na gusto nyo yung i-discuss sa atin ng Twitter channel, free kayo para mag-comment at ilagay nyo sa atin yung comment section. So, again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher God. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.